We begin this morning with the big changes in the town of Oyster Bay that are going on now. This after the resignation of the former supervisor, John Venditto. Federal prosecutors allege the longtime supervisor ran a corrupt government, accepting gifts in exchange for favorable treatment for a restaurant owner who had restaurants and concession stands in Oyster Bay. And similar charges have also been leveled at the Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano. Mr. Mangano and Mr. Venditto <clears throat> received bribes and kickbacks from their co-conspirator on an on-demand basis or as opportunities arose. Now, both men have denied the allegations, and the county executive, Mangano, has chosen to actually stay in office as he fights these charges. But joining us now is the man who has taken the reins in Oyster Bay, pledging to clean house and to restore trust. He is former state assemblyman and now Oyster Bay town supervisor, Joseph Saladino, and welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Absolutely, and we appreciate the fact that someone from Oyster Bay is coming on our show now and uh, willing to stand up and answer some what are tough questions. We should point out right off the bat that you were chosen to fill the position by the town board until an election can be held uh, to formally fill the position. When will that happen? It'll be this November. In the meantime, I've been here just four weeks, and we've made a tremendous number of changes turning around the town of Oyster Bay because it's a new day in the town of Oyster Bay since I've taken the reins. Considering what has been going on, especially the publicity and the allegations that are being made by uh, numerous investigators, why would you want this job? Well, I've been in the New York State Assembly starting my 14th year. I've gained a lot of experience in 27 years in government. I've been outside of the town of Oyster Bay. I've had nothing to do with what going on, and I could have easily stayed in the town of Oyster Bay, but I came home to fix the town I've lived in my entire life. I've come home to restore pride in a town that is beautiful, to restore the financial integrity of our, our town, and to bring back ethics and build the highest level of ethics of any municipality in our country. I'm sure I'm not the first person who's asked you that question. They probably said, hey, why would you want this headache, Mr. Saladino? I don't look at it as a headache. I look at it as a challenge that I know in my heart I can fix. Okay, well, you know, right off the bat, when you went to be interviewed for the job, you had to go there several times before the board finally went ahead and it kind of put you through a public, uh, almost a humiliation in a way, but you didn't respond to it that way. No, not at all. Way. It proves that I'm not a rubber stamp to a political party or to anyone. It proves that I'm an independent voice to come in and do what right, what's right. And it, maybe they were afraid, some of them might have been afraid of the great changes that they knew I'd be making, and we're making them. Yeah, Tremendous we'll talk about that. And development of our town. After getting that kind of uh, sort of initial, not instantly accepting you into the position, does that give you any uh, qualms or concerns that maybe you don't have their full confidence to go forward Quite and do what you Quite the opposite. Want? It proves to the public that I'm independent. It proves that I'm not part uh, answerable to any political party or any special interest. It proves and it gives people the confidence to know I'm coming in to do what's right, what they would do if they had this opportunity. Okay, well, let me ask you some of these tough questions we talked about. A judge, a federal judge, in court last year said there's something rotten in Oyster Bay. Do you agree with that? I believe that what has happened in the past has set up for tremendous change. That's why we brought in an expert as our new town attorney. I'm clearing house. I'm bringing in the experts that will make the difference. Our new town attorney is a former federal prosecutor who also has tremendous municipal law experience. That's a rare find, but we found him. We brought in others with extensive experience. Our building department, for instance, has an entire rebuild, a retro fit, and it's going to be the quickest turnaround of any town on Long Island, and guess what we'll be announcing very soon, and I'll that? give you the exclusive right here, same-day permits. That's unheard of in towns on yeah, Long Island, that's and true. we're creating that in the town of Oyster Bay. All right, let me go back on some of the things that are the buzz in the town. People wondering, is the whole town corrupt? I've heard that from people that I've spoken to. They wonder what's going on. We have these side deals that was made by the former town attorney's office, whoever did it there, that seems to still be in question, guaranteeing the loans that were made to this restaurant owner, Harendra Singh. The town actually got sued by somebody saying that they're on the hook for it, even though we've gotten sort of mixed signals about whether the town is actually on the hook for millions of loans. Is the town on the hook for that the money? The good news is all of that will be taken care of in court on the criminal trials that are out there, and that's up to the prosecutor. What I've been doing is cutting back expenses. We've already saved over a million dollars to the taxpayers of this town. We have brought it, we have gotten rid of the old 
Why did you save a million dollars? We've cut back on the contracts, all of those outside contracts that have been going on. One by one, we're reviewing every contract and cutting back on its cost. Everything has to go on my desk, and I'm not a spender. I'm bringing the highest okay. level of efficiencies to our town, and we've already proven it. These aren't just words. Then you have the former planning commissioner, Frederick Ippolito, who is in prison, federal prison right now, on tax evasion charges for taking uh, $2 million in so-called consulting fees from a, a local paver that had gotten contracts with the town. And uh, he was acting as a consultant while he was in the job working for the town. How do we know that uh, there was no quid pro quo going on there? How could this go unnoticed in the town? And are there other people who should have known this and that you have questions to find out whether or not there's anything about them you don't want uh, uh, in town? There's no question that there are challenges in operating this town. He was gone before I got there, and now I have removed people who were around him in town government to clean house. I put in charge a brand new co uh, commissioner. Her name is Leslie Macaron. She's one of the most competent people who has a vast amount of experience and that's what we're doing to clean up the, the house and she's working with our new town attorney who is a former federal prosecutor and we're turning around per permits to make sure that our residents and businesses have the best experience with our town and we've put in place multiple new uh, stop gaps to ensure high ethics for instance we have a new ethics board made up of independent people every town employee has to fill out the most inclusive new documentation on their financial disclosures and for people who want to work with the town they've got to fill out the disclosure forms too which are ethics board reviews every town employee will now have to go through ethics training they'll receive the book they'll have to pass the course we are making sure that we dot every I and, and cross every T to ensure that we turn our town around and I'm taking this very seriously well you had a lot on your plate the town has had a junk bond status. There's property tax increases. And we got, a, we got an increase in that status already. And I'm heading up to Albany this coming week to, re, uh, to provide more funding for our town through all of the friends and relationships I've developed in Albany. And that's going to get us more bumps up in our credit rating while we're cutting expenses. All right. Well, so we're, we're doing to, both successfully. We're going to have to leave it there for now. Oyster Bay Town Supervisor Joseph Saladino, thanks for speaking with us today. We'll be watching to see what changes in your town. Well, I appreciate this time to be on this wonderful program, <laughs> and we are proving through actions that it's a new day in the town of Oyster Bay, and we're making our residents very proud to live here. Thank you very much, sir. Up next for you, some call it.